This topic may seem a bit preachy, maybe a bit dodgy, but this is my opinion. This is for full help guide. And I think I did express that I would be doing these opinion videos for the help guide at uh, episode one I did. I will do more in depth research on more topics I talk about in my opinion, but this one we are going to talk about under 18s and being under 18 and being an over 18 and also having the disability and also people with some cool, some sort of condition that makes their face go a bit not as normal as us and we, I'll explain it how I mean so yeah try not to get offended I do try to help As you know, when you're under 18, you, your parents or your guardian is the person who look after to you. They're the one who's responsible for you, because you're not an adult, you're a teen and you're a child. You are. Most people don't want to think of themselves as a child. I think that until they get to a certain age, they don't want to be thinking like they're a child. But for most people, they just go how it is, and if they're a child, then they're a child. And there are certain things about that type of person who's under 18 that will do things that are semblance of a child. Now, the purpose of this video is that I'm going to this club this Saturday, which I like, and I also hate to death I do, because of the people there. And there are a couple of people who had who are, has this type of condition because they have this type of condition where they do things that a child would do and they have an understanding mind of a child but also a bit of an adult because some of them are over 18, 19 or even in the 20s and they do play with the kids, they do and no, I just go there just to help and makes me happy it does but I think one of the, sometimes at times it can be all right but then it can go into sometimes situations happen and that's what I want to talk about where you have to draw the line you do and where parenting has to come through at this club most parenting are, the parenting is good, some of it's not good. Some of the parents are lovely, some of the parents are like, oh. There's one person which I'm, look, I'm just going to say is a boy, I'm not going to say the name. And he has this, he has some sort of disability where he does not understand. He has a mind of a baby some sort of mind of a baby where he feels things and I guess he has some sort of understanding of an adult but he's he has an understanding of a child as well if that makes sense. He's in his twenties and there are sometimes when the line has to be drawn. I've been told that if you just have a go at him and if you shout at him nothing works. But previously in the past for this person, he does make trouble. He's nearly throwing stuff at kids, which probably to you is probably like, probably just like shocking because, well, I hate kids either getting hurt or being bullied or even being killed. And if I found that one of the kids that I were either friends with or I did work experience with them and then they somehow died I think that would that would put me in state but I wouldn't be able to do this anymore I would have to cancel the help guide completely but um of course I do stop him but the problem is is basically I think it would either be the um The parents, let's say. 
I would say would be the parent. And the parent doesn't do a very good job. And I and if they ever see this, which hardly ever people do when I say this, this is my message to you. I need I want you to be a bit more better. I know you're the calm calming, you're lovely, but there is a time when you do have to draw a line and you have to understand if your son who has a disability hurts a child, it means a lot. If my mum found out that I got hurt by a 20 year old, she wouldn't be very happy and wanted to go to the hospital. Because children are fragile, their bones are not like this. They're much more deeper, they're much more thin. This is much more fatter. It kind of looks like a child, but they're much more thinner, let's say. And if they got hurt, it only takes one little thing to hurt it. This could hurt it. If a child does that onto a child, it sometimes it may not, sometimes it will. If a grown up, if a adult does it, a, tr a guy in his twenties does it, then it can really hurt the person. It can really hurt that child, I meant to say. And then either a first aider will have to be called or he have to go to, if it gets that serious, you have to call 999. And then that's when it gets spelled in control. And then that's when I think will consequences be there? Will the parent and his son be held responsible? But every time I keep saying that, it's just, I don't get a response that I need. I know that they're going to get into trouble, but I would rather have someone comforting me than either me this thinking thing. So, you, to this person, take care of your son well, or he's going to hurt someone he will one day. I despise this person, and I don't like him at all. And, I, I just don't like it. And also, raising up to another point of what under 18s do and what 18s do, I feel like as soon as you hit that mark of 18, some of the things that you did for under 18 can be okay for a couple of months, I would say for at least a year or six months, depending how you are. If you want to grow up, then do that in the next two months. If you need more time, six months. If you want to wait, I suggest a year, I would. And then when you grow older to the age of 19, then I would suggest just try to grow up. Try to understand that the things that you did when you were 12 or 16 are no longer acceptable now. You're an adult, you are not response, you're you're supposed to be mature and responsible. Don't do all the things that you've heard about other irresponsible 18 year olds do, like getting drunk at night and having the birds and the bees once try and keep a PG here. Um having birds and bees and etc. So and I don't mind at this club if the people who are over 18 who's got a disability and they don't have they don't really understand that well they can they like me they can move about but um i think there's a line to be drawn like when for example if an under 18 makes jokes about the body and makes inappropriate jokes then i think there will be some understanding about it and i don't mind I fully don't mind if they're messing about and they just, you know, talk about stuff that you would do. But in the over 18, I said, I think that's immature of them to do it. No matter if they've got a condition or what. I treat a person like you, I treat them the same as everyone else I do. If you're an adult, I'll treat you like an adult. I would expect you to do certain things I would on your own and I would expect you to be mature but I feel like at this club most of the people don't understand that there's a line to be drawn there is and 
And that's also a line to be drawn out of self. I think an under eight, an 18 can't be bullying a 16 year old at a club, which I also think is unacceptable. Because the 16 year old is a teen and a child, and still classes a minor for some countries. An 18 is an adult, and it gets serious, it does. So, I suggest my advice for you guys now is that if if you're under 18 if you are playing with like if you're hanging out with your fifth if you've got like a 15 year old with you and you've got some children with you if you're in a cyber club where there are teens and children mixed together and then someone who's like 18 20 like everything's going well and then they start the saying thing a child would say I would suggest don't keep under don't keep, don't don't put in here don't leave in here I would suggest just telling them that could you just stop saying that that's a bit inappropriate for your age that is and I would say, just do it even if you feel nervous to death just do it and this is the advice that I would probably take but I'm too much of a pussy to do it sometimes so I'm just like I can't I I could I just <clears throat> so I just think one of the points that I'd, I just want to make is that if you're over 18 no matter your, your condition and if you do something wrong at a club that I'm at um, you have to think about your actions and if you're willing to go and actually hit or willing to actually injure an under 18 year old then you will be facing prison time you will be and the police will be after you in fact if I see it happen to a person that's at my club uh, this club that I go to it happens to like one of the children who are there then I would if I had to I would call 999 and I would be very angry with this person I would be so um I think I'm going to end up there, I have, but I just want you to know that I know they don't, like, KSI, he's, he's an adult, he's in his 20s, and okay, he makes videos that some people make or immature, but I think he's grown up, I think he has. I think he knows where to draw the line for some jokes, and I don't talk, when I mean when you're 18 you need to be an, an adult, you're an adult and you need to be an adult. I don't mean you need to be all serious or not have any jokes, have jokes, but keep it to a minimum that you need to realise what you did as a child as of like, Mi miss, no, here, no, no, and saying these inappropriate jokes that may be good for a 12 year old is not really suitable for you now. So, um, just have a think about it. And also, if you're going to a club that you don't like to go, I suggest to just do one thing. Don't ever think about it. Don't ever think about it. If you hate it, just leave. And I can't do that at this moment because I go to just be there for the kids now. I used to be there for someone else, but now he left and I'm not too sure we are friends anymore. But, um... I'm only there for the kids really and I just wish this advice I could take at this moment I want to leave the only time I can actually not go or I can get out of going without someone moaning at me is you recording? yeah sorry um, the only time that I can actually not go or to get out of going without someone moaning at me is to pay uh, my parent five pounds and the reason why I say parent in all my videos because I just want to hide their true identity I feel like saying mum dad would be a bit too much but I just have to pay them five pounds and they would leave me alone so I'm planning on doing that for the next two months I am and August so yeah so so I just if this didn't make any sense I'm I'm sorry <laughs> it's just 
I've got this club this sad day. I'm not looking forward to it at all. And this is the only way I can actually get my opinion, my feelings and opinions out. I'm not gonna release this on my main channel. I'm gonna release this on my second. I feel like this has been a bit too more personal, but um Yeah. <sighs> like there are some things in life that are really good. Making movies. I love doing that to death I do. But this club it's just, it used to be fun, but now it isn't. Bad stuff, I get, I have this feeling of being depressed and sad every time I go there. I remember the, there was this boy who was like my age once, who was going to punch a kid, but never did. Anyway. Some of the things I'm, I said in here was either fake or real. Just like, you know, but I'm not going to tell you specifically, because that's private. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I don't know if this helped you, if it did, put a like. But anyway, put a like if you're going for the same thing that I am. And if you've got a good idea. And I feel like when I do express my feelings on YouTube, I've got a voice without anyone saying if I'm right or wrong. As they say, we'll talk. Anyway, peace.